go to a so-called holy man, pious man, and this pious man says, I will give you an amulet to tie around your neck. And this amulet is Surah Yasin. We would find that it is indeed Surah Yasin. It's Surah Yasin all the way around the top and all the way around the bottom. However, the, th the problem is, or the issue here is, that this whole top part is the ayah. And this whole bottom part is the ayah. And this band along the middle is something completely different. This band along the middle is a repetition of the names of the shayateen. Now, I'm going to prove to you that this, what it contains inside here, is sihr and it's nothing to protect you. It looks nice and shiny, it has a lot written on it, but it's still shirk. Okay? That's one example. Another example is like this. You might have this, okay? You might have this wrapped around your arm, around your leg, around your ankle, around your stomach, for different types of reasons, to help you get pregnant, to protect you from some evil, and usually this is evil. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see this. It's a round circle. It's a round circle here. And this round circle is like a shield, they believe. Okay, in different in different sects. Okay. They believe it's a shield and it's got Bismillah Rahman Rahim inside. Okay, but if you notice the ones that have been destroyed are the grids and the cut up letters. There's a ha seen ya ba. And there's number and a number and number. Okay, can you see that there? Now the understanding is, is these cut up letters, they coincide with a name of Iblis or his children, okay? So this tells me that the person thinks that it's protecting him, no, it's just open a door for a shaitan to enter him and to cause him more harm, okay? So I advise you to go to your tawis now, take it out, if it has a grid, like so, that grid, okay, is the science of seeking refuge of shaitan, seeking refuge in shaitan. Okay, this is not protection, this is actually sihr. And this is what you find in sihr books. Now, here this paper, involved here, Ayat al-Kursi, they put here, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, and here they put Ayat al-Kursi, as it is. Here again, the word yeah, calling upon Jibreel alayhi salam, Bihaqi Azrael, Mikael, Bihaqi Mikael, and Israfil. They call upon angels. But the scary bit is the fact after putting here Ayat al Kursi, they put here a name like Abusa, Sabrasa, Salmarsa, Sadisa. All these are names of jinn and maybe shaitan, Zora'udu Billah. Now, if we turn this ta'wif to this level, we will find out that here they made it even more dangerous. They wrote here, Maliqa, Makhluqa, Aliqa, Khaliqan, Kafian, Shafian. Well, I would be allowed ask the camera to come close, inshallah ta'ala. And you can see here what they done. It means Maliqa, I don't know who is Maliqa. Makhluqa, he is created. Maliqa, another name, Khaliqa. He is the creator. Means they say Aliqa, he is the creator, Khaliqa. Kafian, Shafian. Allah is Al-Kafi, Shafi. But here they say these two names are Kafi, Shafi. Kafi means protecting you from any evil. Shafi means heal you from any evil. Wala a'udhu billah. This is just shirk. And when you do something that is forbidden or shirk, you actually open the door for shayateen to attack you. So this is basically what this is. This is just a doorway for devils to enter your home to enter your family, to enter your body. Because why? You've come out the fold, you've come out of the fold of the protection of Allah Azza wa Jal. But then when the Tawiz were opened, we'd seen that in the Tawiz there was um, like one man standing with the left hand forward, left foot,
foot forward, a last name on the left leg, also um, also also when people Bismillah, Bismillah. This is what they do, and Allah has so decreed that this is how they were taught, this is how the magicians were taught, this is the knowledge that they found, whether they found it under the throne of Sulaiman, as some of the Mufassirin say, or they found it from some of the angels whom Allah sent as a test and a trial, but this is how they found it.